All right, guys. So right now we're gonna do the wreck opinion. We're gonna swap out the wreck minion because the one I've had it has a lot. It doesn't have any boots anymore. There's a lot of like gunk that's gone in there and everything like that. So we got a new wreck opinion right here. Where Kai's at? We got new boots for it. We got new um, out of tie rods. Um, the inner tie rods are pretty good for it right now, but we're gonna put this in. Hope it's easy. I don't know, but we're gonna find out. But we're gonna start on the car. We're gonna put the steering wheel straight. We're gonna take out this outer tie rod I got right here. The other outer tie rod's already gone because we did the ball joints on that side barely right now, but we're gonna. There's a little 12. We should point the light back there. There's a 12 right there. You can see it. There's a 12 right there. I'm gonna take that 12 out. Disconnects it from the steering shaft. We're gonna take out the stock airbox because I still have a stock airbox. So we got that bolt out right there, and we got the other outer tie rod out. So, uh, go into the car. Take this line off, it's probably gonna spill some fluid. Maybe not, because I, I think I had low, or I had none, no fluid in the pump. But, yeah, after that, take off that line, and then take off uh, that hose up there. You could barely tell, let me see if I could, you guys could see it. There's a hose by my finger up there that I have to detach. And these four bolts, two right there, and there's another two over here. But after that, we should just pull out, we should be able to pull out the rack. And throw the other one in. Then do some measurements, because I had to uh, measure some stuff. So I could almost get the alignment straight, but I'm also going to get an alignment tomorrow. Just so it's drivable. So I'll update you when I think I have it out. What up? So I took it off. This is the old one, as you can tell, all this oil. There's a lot of oil right there. Okay. Skunked up. I found out where it was leaking from a it was leaking from this hose right here. I'll show you under right now. So we got Alright guys, what I was saying, the battery died like every freaking YouTuber says. And um so yeah, I was saying that I was leaking from this hole, from this hose right here. And that's the reason why it's like all covered right there. Yeah. But I'm probably gonna replace this hose if I have an extra. But I just changed this little boot with the joint from that one to here. So I'm gonna go back under the car, clean everything up. Well, I'll show you guys right now. So pretty gunky all right here. Get the light. You can tell. It's all black and dirty under the oil pen as well. And then in here as well. So I really, 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 really want to clean that. But I don't know if I have enough time to do that. And the leak was from that. Right there. That hose right there. I'm going to try to replace it. You can see it's leaking from that point right there. And the hose is all cracked and old as well. So I'm going to see if the old wrecking pin still has that hose. Or if I have some extra holes laying around. In the meantime, I'm going to try to clean all this stuff right here. It's kind of nasty and gunky and everything like that. Look at the best. I'm not going to pressure wash or anything like that. But I'm just going to hit it with the rag. Clean it up. Make it look nice at least. Just so the bolts could slide in nicely and all that stuff. But yeah, I'll update you when I finish cleaning everything. The line that's way up there. So I replaced the hose because the hose was bad. With the old, with another old hose, there's like you can see the cracks on it. But we're gonna put this on, throw on the right companion, throw that on, and it's already freaking almost one, probably one already. But yeah. we're in the crunch time. I thought we we're gonna get this done, but stuff happens, you know. So yeah, pretty much. Now it's just time to throw it on. I aligned everything. Hopefully everything comes out to be good. The alignment is just drivable, not the best. I'm not hoping for the best, but just drivable so I could get it to the next uh, shop. But I'll show you when I get this on, because this is really hard to put on and put off. I recommend you guys to um, try your best not to give up, because this part's really hard. And um, yeah, pretty much just throwing the new rack, pouring some fluid, and that's it. Let's go. Morning. All right, guys, we're back. It's a little later. We got everything on, 
Let me show you better over here. Show you the line. So we got the return from the power steering pump. Return into the rack. I'm gonna tell you one thing. This thing is stressful right here. So one advice I'll give you is to unbolt it right there so you have more flexibility. There's a little bracket holding it. On both the right there so you have more flexibility so you can play with it more and then be patient with that one really patient and then you got the hose up there to the cooler yeah that one was a little pain in the butt too as well because there's a lot of tight stuff I, I got an ac so it doesn't work but it's still there so it just gets in the way of everything it's very tight down there we got a coolant hose right there the big fat one so we got everything tightened down we just need need this i'm gonna just bolt it up right now just a little freaking 12 mils down the end link and then we'll do the outer tie rods next and see how the alignment came up but yeah pretty much almost done and then i'll show you after the outer tie rods see if the wheels are straight or not we'll see but i'll update you guys after this we're kind of in a hurry so me and kai are tired so so yeah, we're really tired, so we're gonna try to get this done. Gonna be done soon. Yeah, almost done, but gang gang. All right, so right here with the Miata, Kai's finishing up the last things. He's tidying the brake caliper on, but we already got everything on. Nice new boots, you can really tell because there's no lighting. We are very, very, very tired. We got the outer tie rod right here. We put the little new pins on, keep them locked up. Those were torqued down to like, what kind? 20 what? 22? 22 to 31. 22 to 31. We got everything torqued down to spec. All I need now is to just throw in the intake. Go right here, you guys really see because of the lighting, but it's pretty late right now. It's, um,. 3.35, I can't even read that. <laughs> yeah, it's Saturday. So tomorrow we're going to a track, Kai. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? Especially tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll talk about that stuff. I just need to clean up around here. You guys can see the freaking mess that we've made of tools and everything. The old rack and pinion, tires, seats, chairs, everything. The interior is just completely stuck right now. I'm gonna take off this. Added this little new nice boot, shifter boot, and this cover for the center console. We threw on the stock um, steering wheel on because of I had to stay ref today as well. But we're gonna take this off, put on the NRG deep dish. Didn't from uh yeah it's working there right now from big booze deep dish all nice pretty shout out to my brothers for that but yeah we are here we're almost done just doing the last little tie downs make sure we're gonna do a double check right now and then put everything back lower and see if the alignment's pretty messed up if not i'll have to make an appointment well i'm still making an appointment no matter what even if the alignment doesn't come out good but that's in a couple of hours. So I'm gonna clean up, try to hurry up, scurry, scurry, and then we get it. All right, All right guys, we're done with the Miata. Everything's fine. New rack and pinion, new lower ball joints, upper ball joints, everything. The best of the best. Now, um, tomorrow I'm gonna go get the alignment done. And then, um, yeah, pretty much. Um, what do you want to say, Kai? Shit took too damn long. Yeah. It's all good, though. Got it done. Track tomorrow. Ready? Let's see what's up. Tomorrow we got a track. We got a lot of prep to do. Uh, the alignment came out not that bad. There's a little bit of... You can barely tell, but... It's just totally drivable. We already filled up the power steering. Reservoir, everything's good. Let's see what that all stuff fender. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And we're out.